Hello and welcome to the fifth installment in our Tamiya TTO2 Type S race build from RC Empire. And if you haven't seen the rest of the episodes, please check them out on our channel and rate, comment and subscribe. So, today we will be unboxing and installing the servo I have chosen for this build, the Savox SC1257TG. You can see, new, it comes in this clear hard case box with plastic wrapping and with specs and measurements on the back. Now this was bought for £48 and I chose this specifically because of its speed, precision and reliability. Compared to some of the other servo brands I've had, as you know Savox is very good. If we open it up, you can see the distinct bright Savox orange and this nice fresh clean servo held securely in place with this cardboard cutout. So if we pull that out, inside the box you also get the standard servo horns, fixtures and fittings, and two sheets of stickers that you can stick wherever you like. So if we quickly take a look at the hardware that's included with this servo, you get one of these big disc style plates which is stamped with the Savox logo and split into eight segments. It's also stamped with lines at 2.5mm increments where you can probably drill holes yourself for your own needs and it's quite a thick piece of plastic. You get this smaller six arm servo horn with three pre-drilled holes on each arm and this smaller disc again with three pre-drilled holes at each quarter. And finally you get this larger four arm servo horn with four pre-drilled holes in each arm. There seems to be a little bit of a cut out there. I'm not sure if this is on purpose. But you also get one standard screw and a washer, which fits into the center of all the servo horns. As you can see here. Now, if we put those aside for a second, in the second packet you get an assortment of fixtures with four of each part. Included in here are these large bolts which seem to fit into everything including the center holes in the plastic servo horns. These, as you can see, have hex style slots on top and you get these thin metal sleeves. You also get four little rubber grommets which you can use if you want and the way these work is you basically want to push the thin little metal sleeve into the hole and these sit in this slot on the servo. This is a different servo, which is why they're not fitting, but they will fit into the Savox one. And you also get four of these self-tapping screws. As expected, it has a really nice solid case. The center orange part is metal, and the top and bottom is tough plastic and I hope it will last a long long time. Of course you can 
Of course, you also get the standard 3-pin servo lead to attach to the receiver. So, let's move on to fitting the servo and seeing how it performs and I will tell you a bit more about it whilst we are fitting it. So let's bring in the car. To fit the servo onto the TTO2, you will want to completely remove these little tabs which hold the servo in place. On some cars you can leave these on and the servo just screws in, but with the TTO2 you have all the steering linkages and the chassis in the way, so you won't be able to get to the screws to tighten the servo onto the tabs. So completely remove these and fit them onto the servo. Now again, with some servos you can slide the screw into the little slot without having to unscrew anything, but in this case I was not able to do this because the screws are too big. So you'll have to unscrew them and reinsert them into the tab from above. Whilst we do this, I'll tell you a bit more about the servo. Now in terms of specs, this is a coreless servo. In short terms, this refers to the arrangement of the motor inside the servo. And what differs to a normal motor is the way the coils are wound. There is a link below if you want to read into this and it is very interesting. But basically, in theory, the coreless servos are incredibly smooth, accurate and precise in their movement. Meaning they will respond to the slightest movement in the controller with excellent acceleration in the servo. Do I need this amount of precision in a 1 tenth scale touring car? Yes, yes I do but we'll see how it performs later on. In terms of speed and torque, at 4.8 volts it is rated at 8 kilograms per inch and 0 0.09 seconds per 60 degrees and at 6 volts it is rated at 10 kilograms per inch and 0 0.07 seconds per 60 degrees. It also weighs 52.4 grams according to the Savox website. Alright, so once you have the tabs secured to the servo, you can go ahead and fit them back to the car. With this model, you will want to fit the steering arm linkage with the servo saver onto the servo before you secure the tabs back onto the chassis. Because you won't be able to do this after, again due to limited access to the front of the servo. Make sure before you attach the arm to the servo that the wheels and the servo are centered And when you are happy with this, go ahead and screw the tabs back onto the chassis using the two screws. And with everything tightened up, you are basically done. All you need to do now is plug the servo into the receiver and it's ready to go. So let's connect the battery up and see what this servo does. You can see a little bit of slow movement there as it tracks every input I make and basically it moves as fast as I can. If we slow it down now to almost frame by frame you can see that there is a bit, a tiny bit of lag but really this has been unfair. This is at 5% speed. This servo is almost as quick as it gets. I think the fastest ones out there now are 0 0.06 seconds. This is 0 0.07 seconds. And from what I have read, the fact that it's coreless reduces that lag time from input to movement.
and the tyres I've got on there now are pretty sticky as well, especially on this wooden surface. So that adds to the resistance. If we zoom in a bit, and try not to break the car, you can see it's picking up every single movement in the transmitter. If we really slow this down again, you can see every movement in the controller is transmitted into the wheels. And that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something. Please check out our other videos on our page and rate, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon.